Um, Alright guys, what's up? Here we are live. Oh, 17 people already. Damn, somebody was waiting for me to go live. We're back with the live stream. Alright, you're banned. Alright, this person just got banned for threatening me. Need to give me your hand. You can't then give me your hand. Oh my god, moms and their kids. You better give me your hand. Well, it's for her safety. Because there's cars driving around like crazies out here. Alright, so here's the deal. We just went to AutoZone. I just picked up some brake pads. I've got four, uh, one set of brake pads. Is that one set? One set. I think this is one set of brake pads. This is enough for the front of the van. Ooh, what the fuck was that? That wasn't good. Hit a piece of plastic or something. Didn't sound good. So we got some brake pads in the guy at AutoZone. I said, do you know a local mechanic that you could recommend to get these put on possibly today, hopefully? He said, well, honestly, between me and you, he said, we usually just have, I usually just have the guys in the parking lot put stuff on for me on my personal vehicle. They do a good job. And they charge you a lot less. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. So I go out there, talk to this guy. He says he'll do it for 45 bucks. So that's not bad. The guy at the store said it would probably be around 30 or, he said 30 or 40, but there was only like one guy. He said 45. Maybe I should. I don't know, it seemed pretty legit. Maybe I can talk him down to 40. But he might not do as good of a job for 40. Who knows? I don't fucking know. Whatever, we'll go see what's going on with it. So I'm getting my new brake pads put on for less than 75 bucks. So that's good. That's good. Because somebody said it could, you know, could be more than that. Especially, it would be more, I'm sure, at a auto, at a garage. Because... What's up with all these girls getting face tattoos? It doesn't look good. Just stop doing it, please. Uh, chocolates. I want something. 10 for $10. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hi. Are you excited to hear Christmas music every single day? Till Christmas? I'm sorry? I said, are you excited to hear Christmas music? Oh, till yeah. It'll be soon, right after... <laughs> Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Um, I need cash back. Do I slide or sweat? How much do you need? Oh, shit. Reader. Um, hold on. Let me see. How much you have? 20. Um, Please remove that. Can I get one of the 20s and 5s, please? Sure. Or a 10 and two 5s, or whatever, whatever you have, I guess. 
You don't have fives? Oh, you got the fives? Okay. Yeah. Right. 20. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Thanks, Miss. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Have a very nice day. Thank you, you too. This music's not. The hell are they talking about this music? <laughs> Alright, let's go get those brake pads put on. Then we'll be ready after we're, we're just basically waiting around to take do this tour of. Immortal masks. Otherwise, I would have been out of town already. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm getting antsy every day. I just want to get out of here, but I don't want to go so far. I guess maybe I could go to just go where Immortal Mask is and camp out there for a few days. I'm just over Los Angeles. I need to go on a road trip and go somewhere else. Go spread my wings and see some different stuff. I might go. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's too cold to live in the van in the winter. If I went to the colder states, I don't know what I'm doing. Today's broadcast is brought to you by M&M's. M&M's, a great product from the friendly folks of Global Corp. Love those M&M's. Peanut, that's my mom's favorite. Guys, be respectful in the chat too. I got my mods in here. If you're not respectful, you will get timed out. And three, three can, uh, three sequential, three consecutive timeouts on the same broadcast results in a, in a permanent ban. So, you trolls better think about it before you start talking trash, because you'll get banned. And I. Most times I'm the only one streaming, so if you like watching live streaming, you probably would want to chat in my stream because I'm I stream more than most of those other guys and girls and everybody else. All right, where are we going? Let's go get these freaking brake pads put on. What do you say? We've got cash to pay this guy. He's going to do some work. Get this guy. He's already got grease on his hands. So that's a good sign. He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. This guy at least knows what he's doing. He's been taking part shit all day apparently in that parking lot. I don't know, he just does things. I might consider getting my oil change at a parking lot or something like that sometime too. Not today, I still have plenty of mileage left. Still have probably 2,000 miles I can drive on this oil. But... We'll get these brake pads fixed. Get them replaced so we won't be making that noise and we'll be safe to go on a big road trip. We're going to be safe and then tomorrow is freaking Halloween, baby! Are you dressing up tomorrow? I have a masquerade mask. I'm not going to be wearing any Halloween face paint or makeup because I don't have a shower or bathroom to clean that crap off and so it would be a extra pain in the ass for me to wear stuff like that so I'm just gonna wear my masquerade mask it was a dollar yeah it's simple at least it's something wear a masquerade mask it's, at least it's something it doesn't look so bad I worked the other night it's fine nobody you know nobody mentioned oh that it was a lame costume and there's people that didn't wear anything like Dean wore jean shorts to the party not sure why. He claims that he got some girl, asked him if he wanted to go home with her, and he took her back to his place, he says, but I don't know. He said he was going back to the vape store, and then uh, never saw him again anymore. Oh, these guys left? Oh, fuck. Did the guy leave? Jesus Christ. Dun, 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 dun. 
guys. Where the fuck are these dudes? Hello? Senor? Mr. Guy who puts brake pads on. Where'd he go? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, mister. Where'd you go, bud? Thought you were gonna be down here. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hello? I'll just go park by his vehicle. It's probably easiest for him. Close to his tools, tool kit. Da 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 Let's see this guy. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? He's here. Salutations, friend. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Josh. Yeah, I know. Edgar. Huh? Edgar. Is this all you need? Yeah. And then it has the, uh, do you need under the hood or anything or no? No. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? So. <laughs> well, I shouldn't tell him that. I'm unprofessional. I know what I'm doing. Full-time mechanic, you got a lot of shit in the car. Jesus Christ, guy. He does everything, I guess. He's got beanie babies. No, there's beanie babies. My beanie babies. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Can I watch you do it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to do it, so I want to learn. <laughs> He's popping off those thingies. You got to take the tires off? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's got to take the tires off. Pain in the ass. It's 20 bucks a tire. It's not bad. 45 bucks. Is that legit, guys? The guy inside said possibly 30, but I don't know. There doesn't seem to be much competition out here today. I guess I'll just have to go with his price. There's no one else to like, you know. Well, this guy says he'll do it for 40. There's nobody to. Hey, he used a big antifreeze container to make a toolbox out of. That's pretty inventive. I'm impressed. Check this out. I appreciate you helping me, sir. Oh, okay. Please do it. Forty-five bucks. Wait, wait until you change the spark plugs. Why? How much is that? No one was talking shit. Oh man, that dragon guy's back proved to be himself very annoying. I wasn't talking shit about you, man. Everybody in the Discord doesn't like you. I don't know what you did. All hyped in the DMs. I don't know. I don't talk about the guy. I don't even. I have no idea. I just checked the power steering fluid. Please learn to fix your whip. Do you guys put on your own brake pads? I send me prayers and blessings, Boiga. Team burger, that's right. Break time. Well, here we are. 
I'm so ugly. That's not nice, Jay. Someone time him out. Show him some manners. He's getting the jack out. Why do you have so many haters? Those are people I've banned. Some of the other broadcasters allow people to say racist things and say mean things and terrible things to about other people and them, and I don't allow people to say stuff like that in my my broadcast. I ban them if they're like assholes, and a lot of people can't handle that because they're just spoiled brats and they're used to getting what they want their whole life and no one's ever told them no. And I tell them no, and they don't like that because no one's ever told them no before. But I think it's something they need to get used to in life because between girls and jobs and things in life, a lot of things just don't go our way. And, you know, you've got to learn about the meaning of the word no sometime or other. And I guess I have to be the one to teach some of those people that and teach them these assholes some manners. that. I don't know how long did it take this guy to fix this, but I can't complain too much because, you know, just some guy in the parking lot. Just some guy in the parking lot. Guys, I don't care who's talking trash or whatever. I don't want to hear about it. You guys can take that drama somewhere else. I'm not here for that. Brakes are simple, Burger. Watch them so you can do it. it. Takes ten minutes. Oh, really? It takes ten minutes to take off two tires, maybe with an air wrench. Ten minutes, my ass. You're so full of shit. It's taking him ten minutes to gather his buckets of tools and find all the shit in his car. If you're not Team Burger, get the F out of here, bud. We don't need you here. Team Burger, it's our way or the highway, bud. Uh. You need to turn the rotors or your pads won't last. Okay, I'll mention it to him. Turn the rotors. Hey, can you turn the rotors too when you? Uh, we have to check because you turn it. One. Well, yeah. No, you have to take it uh, to the next door right there to the 7-Eleven. Oh, why? We have to see because they don't they don't care right here. They don't have it. Have they what? They don't have a machine to cut it. To, oh, you need a machine to do that? To turn the rotors? Oh, no. Yeah. We want to take it off the tires and we will see how it is. It does not hurt because if, uh, if the rotors are damaged a lot, you have to buy it. It's really different. Yeah. We have to see first. How much are the if rotors? The, if the rotors, yeah, they cut it, surface, $10. $10? And you can will, get those here or no? No, you buy it I here, have, uh -huh. it's going to be like 25 each. And then, yeah. and then you have to go put the special place to take them off All right oh wow mm -hmm. jesus christ yeah. you can't do that i guess don't buy rotors send it to illinois or dead well <laughs> by the time i get to illinois i'd be crashed off a mountain because the neat the brakes would be screwed by then turning the rotors is cutting metal off the rotor Oh, turning the rotors is it shave it's like a lathe. So so the putting on the that they put it on a lathe and trim away the actual thing. So it's a lathe. I, I see what you're saying. Okay. It's okay, the pads just won't last as long. Hmm. Well he says it shouldn't be that war because I just got new rotors in the last time I got the brake pads. Hopefully they're not too war. I don't know. Okay. 
No, your ears are good, man. Just do the brakes, lube them up so it doesn't squeak when you drive. Guys, if anybody says flip the van, it's an automatic timeout. Why are Nightbot must not be working? How are these chats coming through with the fat virgin and stuff? I'm not a virgin. I might be fat, young man, but I am not a virgin. Do not appreciate that. Guys, is Nightbot working? Oh, shit. Nightbot's not even in here. Are you also teaching your kids how to grow up without a dad? Are you also teaching your kids how to grow up without a dad? I don't have any kids. I wish you guys... You guys are so dumb to believe that. Idiots on Reddit. I'm the one that... Well, someone started that rumor, and then I just, like, perpetuated it. And, like, sent out some messages. These are my shithead kids. That's my niece and nephew, you fucking idiots. Just trying to see how dumb people are. and They're really fucking stupid people are. I think we could use some air in the back of this tire right back here. I'll never lick the van. Ten minutes, huh? I don't have kids. I have a niece and nephew. See, I posted a, someone last year, actually two years ago, they made me this burger winter hat, and they made my niece and nephew a little burger hat, too. And um, they wanted a picture with all of us with our burger hats, so I posed with my niece and nephew for the burger hat and posted on my my fan page, and then people from Asian Andy's Discord, because they're not the brightest bunch, they thought that that was my niece, they thought that was my ki those were my kids, because they have burger hats on, and they're just, I don't know, this people over there are really gullible and naive and believe everything on uh, Reddit. Should I put the uh, emergency brake on? Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. There. I just don't want it to roll forward and <laughs> yeah. crush you. Yeah. yeah. No worries. <clears throat> it's just brake pads, guys. They usually fuck up more than they fix. This guy's been working on this car since it came out off the showroom floor. It's time for me to step down from live streaming. That's right. Probably take me 10 minutes to get his plastic hubcap off. We don't have plastic hubcaps. There's a metal rim and then there's a plastic hub cover thing in the middle. Got this small thing. He's like, you got another one? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this shit. He just started kind of actually doing stuff. Have to give him cheeseburgers. Always get two. Always get another one. Oh, I should have had this guy do it. This guy knows what he's doing more. I oh, yeah, it's the wrong guy. This guy to death. Woo. He's doing it now. This guy knows the struggle. Woo. On next on 1,000 ways to die. Probably want to put a chuck or something in the back so that the back wheels don't move any. But I'm not gonna tell this guy.
You can't jack up from there. You can't turn the wheel. Oh, we gotta turn the wheel or no? Oh. You gotta turn the wheel too? Oh god. You don't need it. You, you don't need it. Oh, you don't need to. Ooh. There's the brake caliper. Yeah. He's gonna check the rotors when he gets in there. That was in there? Oh no. Oh no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Something got caught in the. Uh, mm -hmm. I smelled something weird. That's probably what it was. It's masking tape. Painter's tape. He found this in there. Good job. I did smell something weird the other day. I was like, what the heck is that? I guess it was that weird tape. Many times. You pass some place out of many plastic bags, mm. you go over to Not it. good. Mm -hmm. Wheel. Now he went back inside. I don't know what he's doing. Buying tools to get the job done or something. I don't asking the guy how to do it or something. I don't know what he's fucking doing. I don't know what he's doing, dog. He's like, well later, see ya peace. He just fucking jumped up and left. Uh That's a quality toolbox for a quality mechanic. You don't need that fucking craftsman bullshit all you need see put some beanie babies in the front of your car or house that you live in and you know call you know makes it a little fucking nice put some trash in this tree if you need to is that a tree or is it a garbage can all in the same if you ask this person thank you so much scuff steve jobs Hopefully this scuffed brake job fails on stream while you're driving. That's not very nice. I hope that that wasn't the real scuffed Steve Jobs because I thought that we were friends. Jesus. So rude. That's so rude. I don't think the real Steve Jobs would say that. We're friends after the talent show and he saw that I pose no threat talent-wise to anyone. Now he's off my back. Not a threat. He wouldn't do that. He loves me too much. I asked the sketch intent sugar. Guys, there's no thing as blinker fluid. I'm not stupid. Get the heck out of here with your bullshit. Oh, he came outside and now he left again. Jesus F Christ, fuck. I wish I had got this guy. other guy knows what he's doing better, I can tell. He's got better tools. I got the fucking scuffed guy. This other dude just gave him some work because he feels bad for him. Jesus fuck, dude. Hurry up. He went inside for something. I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully he knows what he's doing, because I don't. Ask him to check your cholesterol fluid. <laughs> Space shot wrench. Oh no. Yeah. 
Special wrench. Oh, yeah. Well, I believe you. I mean, how much was that thing? Six dollars? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Six dollars. Oh, God. Yeah, but I can use it for all Yeah, yeah. It's an investment. Yeah. There you go. Now we have the magic special wrench. <laughs> yeah. Put it in the special toolbox. <laughs> yeah. oh, I yeah. like the toolbox. It's smart. <laughs> hey, why not? It works. No, I do it for for change oil. Oh, you put the oil, yeah. all the oil on that. Oh yeah. Smart. Inventive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The American spirit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Trump too. <laughs> I like Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. I like Bernie. I don't like Trump. You like Trump? Yeah. Not a big Trump well, fan. I don't like it because he always think everything he take funny. Yeah. He don't know nothing about uh, you know. He's an asshole. Job. Yeah. He's just a rich boy. That's the only thing. He's a rich guy, and you know he. He, he doesn't he, know the real struggle. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, I hope you don't get. Anything they ask, they make jokes. Mm-hmm. He don't know exactly. Uh, what's he doing? Could do it on the ground, probably. What is his responsibility? Mm. Yeah. At least it's not so hot today. No, it's a pretty nice day. Mm-hmm. And the day was a lot of... was hot. The weather was over 100. Yeah, too freaking hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody can do nothing like that. Nobody like this is cool. Yeah. Woo! So hot. So nice out. Where are you from? Central America, Guatemala. Oh, wow. I'm Scottish. Yeah? A long time ago, but my family's lived in Kentucky a long time. Mm Oh. You have any wife or kids? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have the, the the one works right here. It's a manager right here. The, your kids? Uh, the big boy I have. The big oh, boy? A big man. He's going to the. University. Your son works here? Uh, he works part time because he goes to the university. To oh, college. nice. Yeah. Only yeah. three more months. So yeah. He'll start working in children's hospital. Oh, nice. He's gonna be a doctor. Nice. I left yeah. my uh, my daughter and son at the hospital with my ex-girlfriend. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were really sick, so I was like, I should probably leave them. Uh -huh. Let the hospital take care of it, because I'm not a doctor, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing with that. I'm not even a car doctor. So. <laughs> <laughs> the only one, the only one, the little one I have is a Northridge uh, University, too. He's gonna get a uh, like Scientology. Yeah. Scientology? Yeah. Oh, he what? Oh, Scientology. Of the church? Like, no, like see, like see, see oh. I mean, uh, what? The tool it broke inside. You can't yeah, get it out. It's a plastic. Fuck, but it dude. Out, see? Mm, shit, fuck. Now it's all fucked up. You can't get the plastic out of the tool to use it. Coming out. Hmm. Probably made in China, that's why. No, they do this to the people that steal it. Oh, they, so you can't steal it? Mm hmm. Mm. Steal it. Yeah. It's probably all those people from China stealing everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying yeah. to steal shit back uh -huh. so they can take it back to China. But yet the Chinese food's made in America. That's like the only thing that's yeah. fucking made in America is Chinese food. <laughs> Everything else is made in China. Mm -hmm. but Chinese food's made in America. Doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. 
Anybody in your family gay? Uh, my uncle was gay. Yeah, my aunt's gay. He, got, he died already. He was taking care of himself for many years. Taking seven, what? Seven years. Taking care to don't get AIDS or, you know, HIV. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. And last time, I mean, like, uh, he had 70, he have a, a, a someone has it. And he don't protect himself. Mm. Oh thing. no! You, all your fucking life, you're uh, not protecting your life enough. You gotta put, put a condom on. Yeah, but you know, Shit. sometimes people say, ah, I look nice and beautiful or whatever, and I think they, he, he, he doesn't gonna have anything or she doesn't gonna have nothing. That sucks. Nobody knows. My aunt, she doesn't have HIV because mm -hmm. she doesn't have a penis, but. Oh. I mean, she probably has like a like a rubber one or something. Yeah, protection, something. Yeah. Damn. I never knew my aunt was a lesbian until I was 16. Oh. She had a, she, you know, dressed like a man and everything. I just didn't know. Uh -huh. Blue jean jacket, the whole works. Oh, you got the, you got the socket. We're back in business now, baby. Back to the grindstone. Back. It's back, back to work. Just don't put your foot underneath in case the car yeah. falls. Mm -hmm. I don't want your leg to get crushed. Okay. Do you like coffee more or herba mate? Ah, better coffee. Yeah. You like coffee? Mm -hmm. I know in like Argentina. Oh, no, no I, I I see many people uh, drinking tea. The like, herba yeah. mate too. Yeah, mate, but mate. I, I told my friend he's a uh, uh, Argentine too. He said, "What you always has uh, only uh, thing with water? You put some in your uh, mm -hmm. with a special thing." Uh, the gourd, the yeah. little sticker or the little. He say, yeah. what, did, what does he do to you? He say. Maybe to relax, yeah? Mm. Better to the coffee? Yeah, better to the coffee. Mm. That's what he said. Mate. Mate, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. See? On time, exactly on time. Yeah? Yeah. You pass a little bit more? It would, oh, because that's the be... indicator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah, passed more, it would have... Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh well, you have to change that the, the rotor. Is there damage to the rotor? Yeah, this damage to the rotor. Huh? Damage? To, no, the rotor is okay. The rotor's I fine. You, you change it exactly I changed on it. Time. Yeah. I changed it. Good enough in time. Thank you. Oh good. Or right, thank. You. Oh good. Rotor's good, boys. Yeah, it's not wobbling or anything. There's no wobble when I slow down, so should be a should be all good there. I just need to get some brakes in case I need to run from the cops again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, when I'm doing it, I got another got another big job planned with the boys, big heist. <laughs> Might have to do some drive fast, you know, and uh -huh. slam on my brakes. I want to be safe before I do another job for the boss. Uh -huh. I probably shouldn't be talking about it, really. Okay. Hush. You need, but if you want to, you know, we need a guy that can, uh, can trip up the security alarms if you know a guy. You know anybody that knows anything about security alarms? No. Uh, yeah, we need it. We need an expert. We're kind of um, mm -hmm. getting a team of experts, like Ocean's Eleven kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We need a guy like George Clooney right now, mm -hmm. martial oh. arts expert, and then like a guy that can crack the safe too. But oh. I'm just going to be acting like a security guard. That's my thing. But should be all good. I think Brad Pitt was in that movie or something, wasn't he? Ooh, what do the clips do? Uh, it holds hold, it in the spot. Hold it right here, don't, don't touch it. Mm. Right here. See? Yeah. Oh it's shit. Mm -hmm. The guy said he put the grease in there too. If you uh, need some. That's, of the... No, that's for the screws. Oh, for the screws. So you got to put a little of, the, of there so it won't yeah, stick to the caliper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it won't stick. 
He told me a little bit, but. <sighs> what are your favorite tacos? You uh, like, what do you? What kind of meat do you usually get? Uh, it's uh, I like that, especially it's uh, pastor. Oh, you like the pastor? Yeah, I usually go for carnitas or pastor. Sometimes get some huevos. Yeah. Grease that shit. Oh, don't grease that. Oh. I don't like minis. Oh. Oh. It's hard work. Yeah. It won't like get in the right spot. No, when the parts are ru uh, rusting. Yeah. That's why. You don't Shit. Have to take it out. Damn. Jack is not safe, be careful. I know, I don't want the guy's foot to get ran, crushed, but he insists, it's okay. I know, it's on an angle, it's on like a hill. I don't know, dude. Okay. See? Now it fits, huh? The, the cat was uh, the other one. That was, was when, the part of, when you put it on, you have to be sure which one is the right one. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, I don't know. Now it's good? Now, yeah. When you do it right, you see the thing you don't have to hit him up and nothing. Yeah. Oh, you just had the wrong pad on it or something? Mm -hmm. I put the other pad from the other side. Oh, that's, that's not good that you did that. Okay. Oh, God. Jesus, help me. It's like I put the old pad back on on accident. <laughs> Fuck. It's like kind of a basic thing.
Wait, you only put one brake pad on. Huh? You only put one brake pad on. Oh, man. What the hell, dude? There's only one brake pad on it. That's why it fit better. You only put one brake pad on. It needs two. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. He only put one brake pad on him. It's not good. Can you help this guy? <laughs> Come on, Brian. About to die. Yeah, I would have thought this guy was helping. <sighs> he was trying to just fuck around. They're all the same brake pads, too. Yeah, that's safer. Yeah. Now we get the pro. He has the shirt and everything. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm glad I saw that, man. One brake pad, that wouldn't have been very good. Find a better mechanic. Well, I don't know, guys. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, got it now, right? It's on there now. Two brake pads. <laughs> I did see it. I know, I know, I know. I, you didn't I see. was supposed to see it because when, when I was going to put the tire, I have to see what's wrong. But in use of three, new, huh? that's why. <laughs> I don't think he put any of this on the back though. Was that? He didn't put any on the back of the. Well, no. Uh, when you put in the back, it's glue. This is grease. Don't you put it on the back of the brakes though, so it doesn't rub? Like no. Back here. No. Uh, that's why it's trying to come with a black thing on it. Oh. Uh, For the same. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the safety. This little metal. You don't put the grease no. on the black. Only this. You wanna see this is because it's a dollar they take you. Pretty <laughs> wally. You don't need it. No. You can. You don't need it. You can. Uh, that's that's just some. 
They scam you. <laughs> no, all the time they don't ask you. They just put it in. Oh, so one of these has a different back than the other one, right? See? Yeah, mm -hmm. so one fits different than the other one. Checking, checking is okay. Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are the only pads I had for my van. I know what if I was in there? I know. That's what I was watching. Someone was like, go check the brick, other brick pads, and I did. And there was like an extra one. Can you tighten the lugs now that it's on the ground? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. We have to remove oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Just don't want to forget. ceramic pads since you're hauling all that weight well these are the only brake pads they had in stock that fit my vehicle so it is what it is boys Thank you. 
These are a lifetime warranty brake pads too. These are the same Duralast brakes, shoes. I think I can get my money back for these too. Yeah, on the old ones. Uh... So I think they're the same kind. Lifetime warranty, I think. Yeah, we'll get your money. Okay, thanks, man. You need anything else from these? That's it. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for your helping me. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. All right. Where's this guy going? Too. Where'd the other guy go? He's like, I know. <laughs> I know. He's my favorite. How much was I paying the guy? He said $45 originally. It's taking a long time though and he almost, he almost fucked up. So I'm gonna ask him, offer him $40 for it because he did sh such a shit job. And he almost fucking killed my ass. One fucking brake pad on that one side. He's like, oh, it fits now. After he took one of the brake pads off. Huh? Those um, guarantee? Yeah, I think I have a lifetime guarantee on these. I think so. Hmm? He's, no, he didn't check it. I think it should be fine. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's two people in a row, so do you get what you pay for? I think he would have noticed. I don't think so, because he didn't notice. No, they told me I could get my cash back. I just talked to the man, so. Okay. I won't give him the full 45. I'm just kind of mad about the only putting one brake pad. Okay, I'll pay him the full thing. Forty-five is a ripoff. You do it for ten bucks. Hmm. Give him more money. I'm not gonna give him a tip. Yeah, I think my dad already had these ones that came off. I think are the same brand, Duralast. Is that right? Or they look like the same exact ones as the ones that came off it. Or the ones I just bought today. Mm -hmm. 
They look just like the Dura last ones I put on it. But... I think they might be Cmax. Let me see the other one. Come on. I think they might be Cmax. Check them. Just seeing if I get if I already bought like lifetime ones before possibly. Which ones did you purchase right now? The ones I just. Uh, but you gotta you have to get the same ones. These are not those. I know, but do they have a lifetime warranty too? The other ones, the ones. Yeah, but I can't give you the money for what you paid before because you bought the cheap ones. They had to be the same ones. Oh, uh, these were. It's a different product, different warranty. Oh. So the ones I bought were ceramic brake pads, or no? These, these are, are the regular ones. Uh, those are not ceramic. Mm, that's what I. They didn't have the ceramic ones, did they? No. That's what I should have got. Probably. Oh, his the phone number. Those are the ones you purchased today. There's no other one. Yeah. There's a okay. There's a yeah, that's it. Nothing. Okay. All right. And then the other ones aren't gonna. I'll probably get the ceramic ones next time then. So the lifetime work can't gonna do much good. All right. So just throw these away then. Okay. Thanks. Oh, well, here you go. Yeah, they had ceramic ones on there first. I guess I got the cheap ones. That's all they had. I should have got the ceramic. I just didn't know the difference. Let's see if the boys are done over here yet. They're acting like they're done. I think you got the pro guy. Turn it on. Yeah. And press the brake. Pump the brake? Yeah, pump the brake. Okay. So there it was way quicker. Boom gang, boom gang, motherfucker. How much do you pump it? Three, three, four times. Maybe I'll check the brake fluid or something. You think no, it's a little low? No, yeah, yes, all the way down. But the, the, the brake was big. So all the oil goes in. Now I'm gonna have new one. Press it all the way down? All the way, press it all the way hard and let it go. Yeah, like that. Many times it's gonna be up. One more time. Sir. All right. All right. Well, we got it. Forty-five bucks plus the cheap pads. I guess I should have got the ceramic pads. Of I didn't get the best pads. I didn't know the difference. Next time we'll get ceramic. They didn't have any ceramic ones at this. They were. They didn't have any in stock. Do some drifts now. Oh yeah. Turn off the e-brake. Just did. Yeah, ceramics always better. Well guys, I just didn't know that. I didn't know. Now I know.
I got the cheap brakes. I wonder how much they do a discount liposuction for. Lose a little fat under the neck. Forty-five's a ripoff. I don't know. That's what I agreed upon. Oh well. Can I live with my parents? Yeah, I could, but I don't want to live with my parents. I'd rather do my own thing. I don't want to live off my parents like you do. They were quick as well. Well, the second guy was. The fucking first guy, not too quick. First guy, not so quick. Second guy, he got the shit done. What's funny is the guy tried to, uh, the guy tried to, uh, I think he was trying to return that socket he just bought from there. Like after he did the uh, install, I was like, oh, I can keep this. I was like, oh, it's an investment. I was like, yeah, it's an investment. And then he was like going to return the socket and after you're done, he's like, yeah, it's an investment. Yeah, right. He's like, give me my five bucks, six dollars back. I don't need this shit now. Give me my money. Well, got the brakes put on. I needed that put on, so. Brakes are good now. Ceramic brake pads would cost more than the whole van is worth. I don't think so. I don't think that's accurate. Uh, what is today? Monday? We got the brake pads. Tomorrow is Halloween. Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to be doing a tour of Immortal Masks. Sucks it's gonna be after Halloween, but better late than never. So, be checking out Immortal Masks. They let you rent tools. Forty five is a good price. Okay. If you're going to race, get ceramic brakes. I'm not racing, but somebody you see that fucking guy like almost pulled out he almost hit me. He got into my lane, idiot. So what's the thing? Um, well yeah, I guess these brake pads are they'll be what they they'll probably won't last as long, but it's whistling already. <coughs> Fuck that Tahoe. Yeah, right? Fucking beach. You tried to fuck with me, motherfucker. Fuck with me, we got problems, bitch. All right, that's not my car, that's theirs. <coughs> he didn't lube them. So they're gonna keep making noise. God damn it! I, I asked the, I said, because the guy inside side said he had to lube both sides, and then the dude that I was asking, the guy that I was, um, the, the mechanic guy said, no, you don't have to lube them. They just trying to make more money. Then they kept the lube. The guy kept the lube. 
for some reason that I bought. He put it in his toolbox and he didn't even use it on my shit. So. Uh, the one brake pad should be on the live stream, fellas. Yeah, no kidding. No, it doesn't matter if you lube them. We're good then. So they just need to get off the new... My shit's not making noise. Streaming the protest. Just put almond butter on him. He didn't adjust my left flux capacitor. But it is bullshit that he kept something you bought. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it was only a dollar, whatever. Change brake pads. Just did. You love this kind of weather? Oh, it's fucking doom and gloom looking today. <laughs> He's gonna use the loop. The fuck his friend behind AutoZone later. I don't know about that, guys. First dreary day I've seen out there in a while. Yeah, you don't get too many of them. Change brake pads again. Now we're good. put your own brake pads you don't lube them and they don't squeak no more so they're right you don't need it all right thanks man <coughs> all right we got good new brake pads let's see it's 45 and then about 26 for the <coughs> the pads they were 26 45 65 about 70 70 dollars to put new brake pads in the labor, it's not too bad. How do the new pads feel? They feel fine. They're not making noise. You know, they're new. There was plenty of, there was some wear left on the other pads too. I could have went farther. There was some wear left on them, but. Jess probably didn't time you out. It was night, but quit calling my mods names or you'll get banned. Well, I just got the normal Duralast brake pads. I didn't get the ceramic ones, so. Your rotors are probably fine. Yeah, there was still quite a bit of wear left on the brake pads. It wasn't below the indicator line, so. I change them before it's too good. The rotors seem fine. The rotors don't seem to have any wear at the point that they are. Because you'll notice if your rotors have wear, the vehicle will wobble when you slow down. It doesn't have any wobble, so the rotors are fine. Ceramics get warped anyways. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Well, I, that, I didn't have any other options at that auto zone in particular. They only had the cheapest ones, so that's what I went with. I probably would have gotten the better ones. You probably would have upsold me on the ceramic if they would have had them in stock for my vehicle, but they didn't, so. It is what it is, and I've been wanting to get the brake pads fixed before the rotors got fucked up. So we got it all, new brake pads and the install for seven, less than, well, $71, so. That's not too bad. We're all good. The van's not making noise. We're road. We're ready to uh, get on the road. Road ready. <coughs> Honestly, it didn't look like that big of a deal to change those brake pads. I watched how the guy did it. 
put the clip on the new brake, take the clip off the old ones, put the clip on the new ones, slide it into the spot. Then put it over the the disc, the brake disc, then bolt it back on from the back through through the threads. Put the tire back on, bolt that back on, lower the jack and then I'm not sure which brake pad is which. The other one of them is different than they're different. <clears throat> That's why the guy couldn't get the brake pads to fit cuz he put them on wrong. That's why they wouldn't fit the first time. And he's like, oh, it fits now. Oh, yeah, it fits when you took one of the brake pads off. I don't know if that guy was drunk or what, but he almost put the tire back on with only one brake pad. I'm like, dude, where's this extra brake pad doing here? Oh, shit. No kidding. Oh, shit. Do I keep the old brake pads in a jar? There's drum brakes and disc brakes. Yeah, we have disc brakes. The drum brakes are on the back, right? Probably drum in the back. There you go. Yeah, from what I'm heard, that the, the drum brakes don't get used as much. Most of the stopping happens with your front brakes on this vehicle. <clears throat> That's what I've heard anyway. It wasn't Mexican, guys. It was Guatemalan. But... Yeah, he had a glossy look on his eyes. Yeah, he might have been drunk or something. I don't know if he was or high or what, but it didn't seem like he knew what he was doing, that's for sure. The other guy had that shit done quick. Real quick. By the time I could go in and out, he was already done. I think I got the guys like um, incompetent brother-in-law or friend or brother or something like that and then the, the the guy I talked to was like I was talking to the guy the mechanic shirt so like oh he's got a mechanic shirt he knows what he's doing <coughs> usually only replace rear brakes <coughs> every third time all right well I've replaced the front twice well, I think we replaced the back and the front <clears throat> the time before. Now we've just replaced the front, so I can replace the front again before I need to replace the back. The back and the brake lines were replaced before I left Indiana last year. We blew out a brake line before. They charged like $600 or some shit for like to run a new brake line and put new rotors and brake pads and all that shit I figured out what that smell was or he did that was a piece of uh, painters tape that had got somehow twisted around something and was starting to smell when it was getting hot so some kind of random trash up in the wheel well somehow got thrown up in there got stuck on my tire and got pulled up in there I can get another set in the front before having to fuck with the back ones. All right, that's good. That's one less thing to worry about. Well, at least I got them on there. Yeah, at least you got taken care of. Heard you talk about needing them changed a while back, yeah. Third Starbucks I've seen. Nine cheeseburgers, Randy! Rest in peace, Jim Leahy. Damn, somebody got that fucking crazy chameleon wrap hum, Hummer 2. A lot of Starbucks out here. Yep, a lot of Starbucks everywhere, guys. Well, we out here. I didn't really feel much like streaming yesterday because, well, for one, I wanted to finish Stranger Things Season 2 before some idiot told me, you know, who died or whatever. 
So, I didn't want some idiot ruining the show for me. So I wanted to finish. Oh, there's another fucking Starbucks right there at the Ralphs. Starbucks right to the left of the Ralph sign. Jesus, fuck. Jesus, goddamn. Fucking Ralph's everywhere, dog. Is Boyga going to be in Cali a long time? Hey, yeah, if you call me a cock or fuck burger or whatever, just know that you're going to be timed out. So, that's all there is to it. So, you don't know how to sh You will respect me. Oh, hell yeah. No brake noise now, boys. Oh, that fucking Alec Monopoly guy. That guy ripped off this other dude. He used this other guy's art. He doesn't even design his own art or anything. And then he just goes out and does poorly presented pictures of the Monopoly guy and Richie Rich and stuff. And that wasn't even his idea. And he got really famous off of it. Flip the van. Time him out. Where's my mods at? Do I have power steering noise? No, I just checked the power steering fluid. It's all good. It's filled up. They piss me up because they time me out. Wham. What a baby. Oh, say flip the van, you're timed out. Burgers love burgers life. Not funny at Dragon. Oh, at Dragon's supposed to be banned. You guys have been getting on my nerves. Apparently he's been... <coughs> he pissed off everybody in Discord. So they wanted him banned. So I said, well, ban him. Go with a group vote. That many people are pissed at you. Now they're sending me messages like these little fucking passive aggressive messages and stuff. And then I banned them from the YouTube chat too. Now they're being, they're back. And being, I don't know. You try to ban people to leave you alone, then they just usually bother you even more. So. When they get upset, they couldn't have the last word or something. I don't think ice needs any more sitting in the room playing video games. I stream my life, bro. There was 80 people that left. Those are people that are sheep. We don't need them here anyway. They're probably the same idiots that were like talking shit and everything that we were having a timeout. It's laggy. <coughs> What's wrong with playing video games? That's just an incredible waste of time. Why don't you, I don't know, design a character, draw something, write something. Time that you used. Your top score on a freaking video game. Like, I don't, I don't know. And then what? You become the world's best video game dude. It's like, cool. What a fucking waste of time. Great. 
Go play paintball or something. If you like Call of Duty or shit like that, go play paintball. Go play some real fucking war games. Off the broiler. Oh yeah. Shit, man. I want to hang out with Andy Milanakis. Andy! Andy! So I finished Stranger Things Season 2. Right now, I'm finishing up. Right now, I'm watching. Finishing up Season 2 of Preacher. I watched Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Eh, not the best movie. Definitely wasn't as entertaining or interesting as the first one. It tried, it, the comedy was really forced. Didn't really think Groot was funny. Didn't really think that was that cute. It was just kind of really annoying. Baby Groot, it was just kind of whatever. Then, what was the other things I don't like about Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Sorry, I know I'm a little behind, but I just watched it. Um, just the, oh yeah, the humor about it isn't ripe it's not ripe yet or something that was a really stupid joke they did they did it three times like on the threes just not a good joke it's just stupid i don't know i get just they some random thing they threw in there to try to be like a, a comedy bit it just seemed really forced that robot chick I don't know it just wasn't that great there's another coffee bean damn there's two co there's two the coffee beans <coughs> on a uh, my fucking sunset So last year my nephew Carson was scared of police. This year he's dressing up like a freaking SWAT SWAT team member. How come there's not police anymore? It's just like instead of a police outfit, it's just a SWAT team member. It's like militarized police force costume. It's just crazy. You know, it's not even freaking there's not even a uh, real, you know, it's not even a police costume. It's just the SWAT team, you know, they're fucking carrying M16s or whatever the fuck they carry, assault rifles and shit, just trying to, just part of programming, just like the 1950s, well, they already had all the Indians killed, but for some reason during the 50s, they were really pushing westerns a lot sure why to get well maybe just pushing that whole good guy versus bad guy cowboys versus indians it's a real easy concept we're the good guys we're the cowboys we got to go kill the bad guy indians you know which is complete bullshit like go kill these people who were already here they're savages whatever fucked up mentality christopher fucking columbus a fucking rapist piece of shit apparently uh go full out mini skirt and high heels for Halloween oh you think that uh cowboys and Indians were just gearing up everybody for the cold war the they 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 made the Indians just be the commies those goddamn commies Well, why is it Cowboys and Indians isn't popular now? Now it's all fucking cyborgs and robots trying to get everyone desensitized to the imminent 
arrival of drones and it's like cyborgs and sex bots and whatever fucking robots they're making. I saw a thing Andy Milanakis posted about it was like some robot and they were talking about artificial intelligence and the guy the interviewer asked the robot he said said uh do robots want to destroy humans and the robot looked at him questioning and said destroy all humans destroy all humans and the guy was like oh it's like oh shit just the goddamn thing just fucking you know it might think that's a command or something oh jeez I do not this whole Skynet Terminator thing that movie might I, let's not make that movie a prophecy. We have a choice to not make these artificial, intelligent, autonomous, fucking cyborgs and things. I mean, if they get one of them goes rogue or something, somehow, oh my gosh, somebody like hacked one or something, which definitely could happen. What if somebody hacked all of them? Oh no. Jesus. Twenty thirty robots will run everything. Humans will just be wiped out. They'll use us to build the robots. And then the robots will destroy the, our, their masters, which will be us. And then we'll all be fucked. Because the robots will be building the robots quicker than... And they don't need sleep or anything. They don't need money. Oh, we're fucked. Here we go. Oh yeah, Facebook scrapped their... Their AI technology because they... The AI... The AI robots created their own... Um, language that we so they could talk in secrecy that we couldn't understand <coughs> I never bone okay can someone ban that hose person <coughs> not gonna read their comment but not very nice you say something like that automatic ban American elite will move to Mars. Well, that's a fucking stupid idiot idea. Why do you want to go to Mars? We could just not ruin this fucking planet. They're like, hey, let's destroy this planet and just start a new one on this shithole. Red dust dirt planet. That's a great idea. We can't go outside. There's nothing to look at except for barren red rocks and wasteland. We'll have all the money, though. Yay. We'll create our own world. God damn it. Then that's like Total Recall. Like, I remember when the dome, the first, when the first satellite frontiers came here and the dome leaked. And they're all going to be freaks. They plan to escape from the masses, obviously. What, after they fucking run the whole world? Man, why do they want all the money so bad? So they can go live in space? These people are fucking insane, dude. Because they're probably aliens anyway. Maybe the leaders are a different... They're not human. Maybe they really are reptilians. That's why they don't care about us. They're goddamn reptilians. I knew it. V was right, that TV show. Jaguar. Jaguar and Land Rover and Range Rover. 
That store's expensive. They just have <clears throat> indoor car lots for these big expensive cars. They got a few different cars in there. Which one do you want? You just order the custom. You guess you can see the style, then you get order the custom color and whatever, and they ship that motherfucker to you from Italy or wherever, I guess. Fuck aliens. Shameless starts this week. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. You prefer Burger Planet to Prison Planet. Yes. Let's go find Carl. Carl! Carl! We probably should go find Carl. Got nothing else planned for today. You guys want to go find Carl? Ah! LA is boring as fuck. I know. Thinking about moving back to somewhere else. We need to go on a road trip and experience some new excitement. Some new places. Nine to five and brainwashing and schooling. Kelly Clarkson advertisement. What the fuck? What is this, 2005? Ooh, she doesn't even look good in the fucking advertisement. Ugh. <clears throat> Looks like dog shit. You can see her fucking... Look, there's like edging on her fucking hair from her... From her fucking wig or whatever. Ooh. She looks like she got five o'clock shadow. God damn. She got so much, she got a cake face, so much makeup caked on. Fucking face looks like a goddamn Halloween mask. Jesus. Blew. Blew. Probably just fresh off the, I don't know if she got plastic surgery or not, but whatever's going on, it ain't working out. She has fat as fuck. Yeah, I know. She probably just started eating. Girls that are, bit, are prone to be bigger, you know, and if they have an eating disorder or something, they don't eat. Maybe they're like bulimic or some shit. Then they start eating. Or they just start eating way too much. You know, they get eat, they stress eat, stuff like that. You've got <clears throat> endless amounts of money. And it's just <clears throat> psychologically, it's easy just to like grab onto some food or something to try to fill the longing or fill the void in your heart or in your life, whatever that means creatively or, you know, she won American Idol and probably thought that would make her life better and, you know, that would be the answer to all of her problems and then, I don't know, just a lot of times all this stuff, it's not what, um, it's not what people think it's going to be and then they get fame and fortune. And then it ends up being more of a nightmare and a curse, somewhat. They can't go out in public, and you know it's like they're they're famous on TV, but then they can't go live real lives out in public because people swamp them for photographs, and you know, so then they develop anxiety and things like that. So I don't know. I've experienced a little bit, just a little bit of just. It is giving me a little anxiety too. I can only imagine what it would be like to be a real celebrity. You know, like Tom Cruise or freaking Tom Hanks or something, just going to the airport or some shit. Going somewhere they have to go to, you know. It's like, you know, the paparazzi just wait at the airport looking for famous people all day. It's an easy sp spot to go. Do I like Curb Your Enthusiasm? I just saw that billboard too. No, I'm not a big fan of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I like Seinfeld. Seinfeld's pretty dated. All the shows are dated with the fake laughter, fake laugh track, or the audience laugh track, or whatever. It's pretty lame. But you know, The Office and Parks and Recreation. Thank God there's finally some comedy shows that came out without the laugh track. Or like, not everything has to be. A bang you over the head 
pun joke, you know, a lot of those jokes aren't even funny anyway. But curb your enthusiasm, it's just uh, it's just too neurotic for me. I'm just not a big Larry David fan. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just like modern day fucking uh, Peter Sellers or what is he? Peter Sellers or mixed with uh, Jerry Lewis. It's just, I don't know. I like Larry Sanders. I like the Larry Sanders show. That was pretty funny. It was pretty dry. You know? I'm ready for freaking Halloween. I finished Stranger Things. What else did I watch? I watched, uh, damn, you thick. You thick, Ma. You got Jason standing there. Um, finished Stranger Things. What else was I gonna? Did I watch um, Guardians of the Galaxy number two? That was it was okay. Stranger Things was great. Watch an episode or two episodes of Preacher season two. That was cool. What else did I watch? I think I watched another movie too. Oh, I watched Silicon Valley. I finished. I watched that whole season couple days ago. I watched something else the other day too. Um, what was it? Oh, I watched The Walking Dead the other night. Mm, I don't know. I think I watched something else too. <sighs> just watched some shows the last few days and just kind of relaxed and all that. watch Intervention for comedy. Am I going to walk the boulevard in Halloween? No, I don't think so. Alright guys, I'm going to end this broadcast and start a new one. Let's start a new broadcast. Come back. If you like this broadcast, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn the notifications on. Follow me on Twitter at BurgerPlanets. Turn those notifications on so you'll know when I go live. Thanks for watching, and we'll be right back.